Ultimately, when you want to make a passion a career, it is one of the most difficult things you could ever try to thread together. It's like having a 10,000 piece puzzle and then when you get to that 10,000th piece, you've lost it. You can't find it. And no matter how hard you look, no matter how many times you go back to that one spot you swore you saw it, it's gone. And over the years, you try to remember and it racks your brain and then you hand it off to somebody else to worry about. And then overnight they find that last piece and they put it together with ease. And they get that one thing you've always wanted. With so many people, they give up their dream of doing one or multiple things. And even when it comes to medical issues, they even let that hold them up. But with Vec, this is not the case. Vec is an artist out of North Carolina, and I met him years ago at a Hobson concert. I am personally grateful to have made his acquaintance and his friendship in the process, because without him, I probably wouldn't fully understand what it is to have the first true supporter of my music outside of a family member. Vec is one of the most intricate artists that I have seen develop a rhyme scheme beyond one of the artists that claim to run in the true hip-hop fashion. It's nothing like the old school days. It's a lot more complex than that. He puts together music that is for someone that listens to old school hip-hop, but looking upon people that listen nowadays, that inflated rhyme scheme that very complex 360 development of a metaphor. That's something that happened back in the early 2000s as well, but it's definitely fallen out of the loop nowadays. And with creation of the Kuleshov effect, this has definitely been one of the things that I found out as I've listened to it more and more. The Kuleshov effect is based off of cutting from one image to another, and it was based off of some film students that were putting a piece together, at least from what I remember. If I forgot anything about that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is exactly what this project is. It is a matter of switching different perspectives on the moments in Vex's life that had seemed to be a moment of defeat. Any time that it would reveal a weak point, he would strike back twice as hard. There are moments in this project where he reveals his personal issues with an arthritic disease that, honestly, is one of the most heart-wrenching things to find out about a person in their 20s has. You shouldn't be dealing with arthritis in your 20s, especially something so severe. And when science is telling you, hey, take these medications, and you say, nah, I'm good, because of the side effects and the possible death. If you're a person that lives in America and you watch these medical ads on television or if they're in the UK or anywhere else and they're for new prescriptions. There's always some side effect that could ultimately lead to death. No one wants to die taking a medication. People that I've personally known have died taking medication that is supposed to treat a disease that they are encumbered with at the time. It is, it's a tragedy and these people get away with it. But that's not the purpose of this. Vec is talking about how each and every time he was faced with adversity, he came out on top. This project is the ultimate I am showing my battle scar moment. And as he goes through the beginning of revealing that he had taken five years to put together this project. Yes, it has been a very long time since Aleph had come out. But in that time, you have put a verse on one of the greatest and personally one of the most interesting underground hip-hop artist projects. You met and talked with the RZA, you met and talked with Stan Lee for a moment, given it was a very short amount of time, and you've gone through financial ups and downs and you've gone through many personal ups and downs, but now you are reaching that first peak in the mountain of your journey. And you want to keep going. I want you to keep going. I want people to know about this project. And that's why I want to do this as my first favor to pay back to you. It has been a great honor to have you as a friend and a supporter of my music. And Vec, I want people to know about this project. Not just the people watching this video. Not the people that see it in happenstance or just the pure coincidence of it popping up on their YouTube feed. 
or if it ends up on Twitter or Facebook. I want them to know this project because you have the ability to break through and show more people than the underground what your talent is. It is worth something more than just the bare minimum of people. Putting your heart and soul into a project is something that people always do, or at least they claim to, regardless of the genre, but you yourself don't see to be the basic artist. You see yourself to be something that is greater than that, and I want the people to see that as well. You've gone far too long being a talented individual and having yourself limited by that small atmospheric measure of the sky that we all see when we are undiscovered. I would like you to become that process, or at least begin that process of being discovered. I highly recommend you guys listen to this project. It is a very, very interesting personal journey for Vec, and let him know what you think. I'll link his pages in the description, his Facebook and the SoundCloud information, and the SoundCloud information for the project. Um, that's all that I have to say on this project. Like I said, I highly recommend you guys listen to it. Um, Tune in next week, and it will be next week. It will be next week. <laughs> I'll be reviewing the brand new ecliptic project, The Grand Illusion. Until then, stay selfish. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.